Michael Velasco coming at you with a tax tip Tuesday. One of the common questions we get, capital gains tax on property, right? You've got a rental property, you've got a primary residence. Is it two years? Is it one year? And this real estate market here in the Arizona area is absolutely on fire, as with most of our country, right? So what, let's clear up the confusion, right? Okay, so when, is it, when, it, when are we going to be exempt from paying taxes? on our uh, primary residence, for example. So it takes two years, guys. You gotta own the property two years, and you get a gain if you're single of 250,000. If you're married, you get a gain of $500,000 on the property, and you're gonna pay zero taxes on that, okay? So it's really important that you hold on to that for two years, if, all, if at all possible. So when do, and a lot of people say, I'm confused, wait a second, I thought it was a year. It's a year on long-term capital gains on your rental properties. So it's really, really important you want to hold on to them for at least a year because it brings the tax bracket down, right? Turns it from a short-term tax, uh, a short-term capital gains to a long-term capital gains. And so for most of us, we're going to be paying 15 to 20 percent in long-term capital gains on uh, this property. Most of us probably 15 percent. Okay, so if you hold the property less than a year, you're gonna be taxed at ordinary income, which is usually much higher than these 15 to 20%, depending on your income bracket. Okay, so those are the capital gains uh, tax rates that you're gonna play on your properties. Hopefully this clears it up for you guys. Have an awesome Tuesday.